Hey guys, it's Phaedra from All Things Phaedra. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, hopefully. I'm bringing you the next segment of my Hyundai Eco Experience Day out at the California Proving Grounds in the Mojave Desert. And today, I wanna focus on the time that I spent in the Hyundai Nexo. Now, if you haven't heard of the Nexo, it's probably because they're not widely distributed in the United States. It is a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. What does that mean? That means it is an electric vehicle, so it is still an EV, but it's powered by a hydrogen fuel cell. Why don't you see it where you are? Probably because there aren't hydrogen fueling stations. You'll see them mostly in California, but there is promise of them coming to the Northeast and making their way down into busy congested corridors. But we don't have that yet. I did get a chance to drive it around what they call a loop. I think it's a six mile loop at the Proving Grounds and it's a, just a flat oval area. And we did that so that we could test what they call level two autonomous driving. And most of what you're gonna see is from my GoPro mounted on the windshield. And I'll talk you through a little bit of what's going on if you can't tell from what is actually happening in the vehicle. So some of the things I got to experience today include level two autonomous driving. That means wheels on the road, hands off the steering wheel, mostly. Let me show you how that works. We're getting ready to head out on the loop in the Nexo. This is a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. And if you haven't seen one, it's because there aren't a lot of hydrogen fuel cell stations around. But in California, you'll find them. And I wanna give you a quick peek inside of what the Nexo looks like before we get behind the wheel. The interior has a real cockpit feel right here. A lot of buttons, that's what makes it feel so airplane-like. But otherwise, it drives and rides just like any other EV. And it's actually really attractive inside. So the cruise control is engaged and that one action will actually also engage the lane following assist, which centers the vehicle in the lane. Uh, the system uses the front camera as well as the front radar to situate the vehicle and position the vehicle. So right now, uh, my hands are off the wheel. Uh, I'm not touching any of the uh, foot controls and the car is maintaining speed. So you have the cruise control set. Is it cruise control that's on? It's cruise control that's on. Cruise control that's on. And then what do we call this, this technology? This is basically level two. So you'll see the warning just came on. Now if I put my hands back on the wheel, the warning has gone away. So the, the warning time usually is anywhere from about maybe 15 to 30 seconds. If, this, if the vehicle recognizes that your hands are not on the wheel, it's going to trigger that warning. It'll do that warning a couple times, and if there still is no uh, response, the system will disengage. And the warning is pretty much just saying, hey, pay attention. Pay attention. Yeah. Pay attention. Yeah, you can't just play on your phone. Exactly. So you're not applying the brakes? Not applying the brakes at all. Okay. And it stops, and part of that is set with the adaptive cruise control? It's or? set with the adaptive cruise control. Okay. So now, um, you know, typical traffic, whether it's East Coast or West Coast, um, you'll get this type of situation where the traffic just stops for no reason, right? Right. And then you're, you're picking up speed again. So the vehicle is... So you did not apply the brake at did all? Did not apply the brake at all. Okay. I did not apply the brake at all. So, so here, same thing here. Stopping. Stopping. On this part of the track, the lines have been left as sun faded, so you can tell on each side it's not I as... I could feel it sort of weaving from side to side a yeah. little bit. So that's a good question. What type of markings are required for this to work? Uh, it's going to follow the standard uh, DOT highway markings on each side. So it'll track for the, the lane stripes on the right and left. It'll also track for the the shoulder line that's on the right and also that's on the left. In some of our vehicles with the newer systems, uh, if there's one that's not clear and there's only one, it'll still be able to track that as long as there's another lead vehicle that's in front. Okay. Is it making a 
make you nervous at all? No, not really. I mean, I, I've, I've been in this vehicle and, and this test many times over, so you just kind of get used to it. Okay. This is a 6.4 mile oval, okay. so it's quite sizable. Now, even with the sun going straight into the camera here as we're approaching this turn, uh, the vehicle is still able to, to recognize uh, the stripes on the okay. road and still maintain uh, centering. But if I continue to ignore this, uh, the warning will eventually, you know, eventually come on. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to disengage the system. Okay. Uh, Brett's going to pull over and I'm going to have you Okay. Give it a shot. Same deal. So this is the Nexo hydrogen fuel cell vehicle, right? Yes. Okay. And do I need to engage anything? So once we get going, uh, what you're going to do is just engage cruise control. It's fairly straightforward. It's just hitting the cruise control button. Okay. And then just hit setting it. Okay. And that's it. So we'll set it at 65. Okay. And then. Um, you'll just follow Brett and then you'll see how things and the and the the lane keeping it within the lane without my hands on it is that something that you turn on what no, is that everything is engaged with the cruise control oh, so okay. it's a very simplified format and setup okay okay all right okay Brett we're ready so what did you think are you ready to take your hands off the wheel if I were a new driver, it may be something that I could get used to. But as an old school driver, even if the vehicle is being maintained by all the autonomous systems, I still got my hands right there, just, you know, hovering over the steering wheel. And that's honestly where they want you to be. We are not at the point yet where they want you to take your phone or eat a meal and not pay attention to what's going on on the road. It's really meant to be guidance systems, backup systems to help you if you, for some reason, get distracted and you're not paying attention, you veer out of your lane, or you don't see the car in front of you. But you guys, we're getting there. They're not Jetsons cars yet, but we're getting there. So thanks for joining me. I hope you subscribe if you're interested in automotive content like this. I also cover a lot of really cool stuff right here on this channel because it's all things Phaedra. Thanks for joining me and stay tuned for more.